Hi everyone, welcome back to the makeup chair. Today we're talking about eyeliner. I've been teaching you guys a lot of different eye makeup looks, but we haven't actually talked about eyeliner yet. So I wanna show you guys how to do a basic eye makeup and then a basic wing. But I want you guys to give this a go because what I want you guys to do is once you've tried it out, let me know how you get on. If you have any issues, any problems, if something doesn't work for you, I wanna hear back from you. So leave a comment, let me know any problems that you have with eyeliner. Maybe you already have some already, or maybe this video is gonna sort it out. If it doesn't, I want to hear from you so when I do my in-depth video all about eyeliner I get to cover the main topics of concern that you guys have because I am here to help you can also send me a picture over on my Instagram my Instagram stories is always open so I might respond on my story I might respond to you directly depending on how many messages I get but you can send me a picture of your eyeliner and we'll try and fix it up for you oh and I want to say I also go through eye makeup in this video as well but it's a little quicker so if you want something a little bit more detailed check out the videos up here and in the description box we've done smoky eye we've done an everyday look we've added to it I think we've done a bit of color as well at this stage so check all of those out but let's get started with eyeliner so we're going to start off with a really nice basic eye makeup look just to kind of get us going and also i want to start off by applying primer and the main reason i want to bring this up is because primer actually helps your eyeliner go on a little smoother so if you find that your eyeliner tends to bleed and fade into little cracks in your lid which a lot of people have i'd have them myself if you find that that happens a primer will basically create a smoother line fill in any of those little cracks and then you can apply a clean eyeliner over the top and you'll get a much better finish. I've already done a lot of this priming already. I've already primed from basically down here, but I just wanna prime the lids, get right by that lash line where we're going to apply the eyeliner and then just tap it out. Then I'm gonna take a blending brush and I'm going to apply a neutral eyeshadow all over the lid. Now you can use a little bit of translucent powder if you want to as well. This is just gonna set the concealer if you've used concealer or you've used primer just to make sure it keeps it in place. You wanna go for an eyeshadow exactly the same color as your skin or you can go a little lighter if you want. And that will just give us a nice clean base to work on. It'll set any concealer or primer that we might have already applied and just create a nice blank canvas like that. I'm gonna move on to now a smaller blending brush. This is absolutely tiny. If you don't have this brush, get it, because that's awesome. It is the E10 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. It's one of their first brushes ever, one of them, and it's the best. Like I still use it after seven years, like it's so good. And I'm actually gonna go in with our contour shade. So this is a couple of shades darker than my skin's about three shades darker. We're using all neutrals today. Tap off the excess. We're gonna start on the outer edge of the eye and I'm keeping my eyes open. I'm holding the brush a little further down. This is the center, I'm holding it a little further down. This is a very small brush, but it gives lots of control. So I'm just gonna hold it further down to give me a light amount of pressure. And I'm just gonna mark in where my crease is, so going above the lid. It's just a really basic look. I'm just marking that area in. So when my eyes are like fully open, you should just see the hint of that color. Go up a little bit more and just focus this on the outer third. Even bring it down onto the lid now as well. Now I've switched to more circular motions. So we were going sweeping over and back and now we're doing little circular motions. Circular motions typically apply a lot more product now I'm gonna to switch to a clean blending brush. This is the E26, one of my absolute favorites as well. And I'm just gonna start kind of buffing on the outer edge and work it back and forth. This is a clean brush, there's no product on it. We're using this to blend out that contour just to make sure it's nice and soft. Now we're gonna move on to our fade shade. This time we're actually using my typical fade shade as a mid-tone, it actually makes a great mid-tone as well. So this is the fade shade right here. This is a little warmer than our contour shade and it just creates a perfect fade. That's why we call it the fade shade. I'm using that small blending brush to apply this and this is gonna go higher. So what I would recommend for you guys to do is to have your mirror in front of you, look straight on and just apply this above onto this little area that you can see when your eyes are open. So you don't have to do this. You can just keep your eyes open and look straight on in the mirror. If you don't have a lot of room between these two areas, you can just apply it on the outer edge and it'll still give you a nice fade effect. I'm also gonna take that same shade and just apply it on the center of the lid. Take your clean blending brush and softly go over it again. Once we've contoured our eye, we can now go in with a little bit of highlighter. So I'm just gonna apply a lighter shade and this is matte and we're going to apply it with a flat brush. You can apply a little bit of shimmer or satin if you want to. I will be applying a shimmer later so that's why I'm gonna be using a matte to start with. And then we're just gonna apply this all over that inner corner 
and back over the lid. This is nicely pigmented, so it will basically be like cutting the crease, but like really subtle. It'll just match up to where we have that fade shade and then our contour. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you need to go back to week one and that'll explain everything because this is a series and you gotta follow it every week, you guys. Make sure to come back every Monday or sometimes Tuesday. And to finish off the look, I'm going to apply shimmer just on the inner corner and underneath the brow. So this is a highlighter shade, the same shade, but it has a shimmer in it. So this time it's going to have that nice little glow and catch the light. It's very similar to just doing your face makeup. You know, you have your contour, your highlight, and then you have the highlighter that you apply with a little bit of shimmer. Basically the same thing. I'm going to apply that highlighter then just on that inner corner with the same flat brush and underneath the brows. So now that the eyeshadow is on and we've contoured and highlighted the eyes just a little bit, just to give them a little bit of shape, we can move on to eyeliner. So this is the fun bit. This is what we're all here for. So this is Borderline by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. What I like about this particular one is it's a great one for beginners because it gives you lots of control. It's not too long, it's not too short. It's got like a nice tip to it. It's a felt tip liner, so it gives you lots of control by just limiting how much product is going to be applied on the lid rather than a lot of those gels where you can over apply it or under apply it. Sometimes they're heavier or sometimes they're too thick, sometimes they're too thin. This one is nice and simple because it's felt tip and it's just going to glide over the eyes. There's a couple of things though before we get into actually applying the eyeliner. Make sure your feet are firmly on the floor. Make sure you aren't wobbling around like this. If you've got your legs crossed, uncross them because honestly, you need the support. <laughs> Make sure you've got support in your back if you're sitting on the floor. Make sure if you've got a magnifying mirror, you're not looking the magnifying mirror until you're doing the final bits up close. If you apply your eyeliner in a magnifying mirror, <laughs> you'll end up with a either really dramatic look or a very tiny little wing. Kind of depends on the look that you think that you're looking at. I, I'll tell you, this makes a massive difference. And let's just start off by creating a nice simple line before we get into doing the wing. My preferred way is just to hold it like I've been holding my paintbrush, eyeshadow brushes, and I literally just draw along. Now I use my pinky for support because, you know, your hand can wobble a little bit. So my pinky is placed here for a little bit of support and that just stops my hands from shaking. When I'm doing the other side, I just rest it the other way. So it rests on this side like that, and this side on that side. If you're left-handed, you can do that, right? You place it like there when you're doing on this side, and then when you're doing the other side, you're gonna place it like that. Pretty much the same is what I do, but I'm not left-handed. So let me know if you are left-handed, does that work or not? What I like to do is I literally just aim for my lash line this is gonna be tricky because I can't talk because I move my cheeks a lot when I talk. So I'm gonna try and be as quiet as possible. And we are gonna start on the center and work out. And you can see the motions I'm doing. It's just da, 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 da. I don't try and do like one solid line. Short little strokes building as we go along. Don't worry too much about this outer corner for now. Just stop just as you can see it when you're looking down in the mirror. And then you can come a little closer and start to work your way in. Now what I say for beginners is don't come in all the way into this inner corner. That's when you get that little bit of fading and bleeding. Not bleeding for your eyes, I mean. <laughs> I mean bleeding from the actual liner itself. The liner will bleed out and fade into like little cracks and stuff. So don't bring it all the way in here. Just kind of start where your natural lashes start. And once you've done this shape, you can then get your magnifying mirror if you need to and just perfect it. Now you wanna make sure that the liner is equal on both sides. If you have one eye that's more hooded than the other or slightly different shape, what I tend to do is just make the liner a little thicker on one side than the other to add balance. The easiest way to find that you have balance though is to look down in the mirror and to just slowly tilt your head down and just watch for when the eyeliner hits that little ridge right here and it should hit the crease at exactly the same time as you look down in the mirror wing time so the easiest way to get a perfect wing is to do a stencil to begin with so i'm going to take a flat brush like this you see how flat that brush is you can also use an eyeliner brush or pretty much anything that's just a nice clean brush and what i do is i put a little bit of black eyeshadow just on the tip of it then i take a makeup wipe and i literally squash down the brush like that so it's as thin as possible and it will take off the majority of that color and it'll be slightly damp as well. And then I can just literally stamp this to make sure that it matches up. So I tend to go and look at the angle here and try to match that angle on this side. And I just stamp it down once I feel like it looks exactly the same. 
So that seems just about right. And I just do a little stamp. And then what you wanna do is once you've done your stamp, you just wanna check that both sides are even. The one's not going up too far or too out or too low. Now, when I am applying the eyeliner, I actually work from the outside in. So I pick my point of where I think it's gonna be and then I bring it inwards. Now, what you wanna be careful of is that you are picking that first point perfectly because it's staying there. I don't know how people blend it out because I just don't feel comfortable bringing it out. I prefer bringing it in. So I'm gonna pick my point, which I've pretty much done with my stamp. This is very hard to do on camera. And I start off with a barely there line. Once I've done my line, I can just recheck the angle, make sure that it's pretty similar. Now I actually do the bottom line first and then I join the top of it. So let me just explain this on a piece of paper, hold on. So I've done the bottom of the triangle to start with the very bottom of it and then what I do is I take the top and then I join it to the lash line and then you just obviously fill it in so you do the bottom part first and then you join the tip of that to the lash line to create the top part of the triangle so you should get a line like that and bring it into the lash line and then you can fill it in and then once I've created this sort of a shape we want to extend it so we get more of a sharp finish. And what I basically do then is extend the outer edge line ever so slightly. And once you've applied this, you then want to do your checks to make sure it's nice and even. So you want to look down in the mirror and slowly bring your head down, making sure that they're the same length on either side when you're looking down in the mirror and seeing where the height hits as well. And this will just make sure that it's even for you. So no one will be able to tell that you're only a beginner. So I've just finished off with lashes, the rest of my makeup, all of that jazz. Now I did make a little bit of an oopsie. This does look a little bit more dramatic than when I started. Basically, just as I said goodbye a second ago, I then decided to try and fix it up. It did not go well. Oh, I messed it up, man. It was fine. I don't know why I went near it. But I fixed it. All I did is just lengthened it ever so slightly, give it a little bit of a thicker edge, and then just added in a little bit more thickness. So basically, I was just doing exactly what I've been doing this whole time. But that's why I always say to start off with a really small wing and then just add to it to kind of build it up. But I want you guys to give this a go. If you have any more questions about eyeliner, definitely let me know. Check out the other videos on the screen now, and I'll see you guys in my next one.